good morning children welcome to your chemistry online class today i am starting a new chapter our ninth chapter that is hydrogen what do you know by hydrogen do you know anything about hydrogen we know in the periodic table hydrogen is the first element it's having atomic number 1 so its resemblance that it is having only one proton one electron and one neutron so if we take hydrogen it doesn't have neutrons only proton and electron and hydrogen represent by the symbol h so in the periodic table position hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table so it has resemblance to the alkali metals and halogens because it will show the properties of loss one electron to form unipositive ion if it if a any substance donate one electron it will become positive so hydrogen hydrogen having the ability to donate one electron and to become unipositive similar to that as well as uh, it's having the ability to accept electron and to give or form uni negative ion such as halogens so it has both the properties of alkali metals and halogens and hydrogen forms oxides halides sulfides and unlike alkali metals it has very high ionization as lp and but it is not metallic in nature so uh, the similar characteristics with alkali metals is it will it is having very high ionization energy uh, it is this it doesn't have high ionization energy and metallic characteristic like halogen it forms diatomic molecule combines with elements to form hydrides and a large number of covalent compounds it is having the ability to form hydrides and covalent compounds but if we compare with halogen it is having very very low reactivity and we'll see isotopes of hydrogen we know isotopes are the substance which having same atomic number but different mass number in lower classes we have studied about different for example hydrogen having three isotopes called protium deuterium and tritium protium is with atomic mass 1 2 and atomic number is 1 tritium having mass number 3 and atomic number is 1 these are these three are the isotopes of hydrogen so it is only differ in the case of number of neutrons for example if we take this we know uh, to calculate number of neutrons mass number is the number of neutrons so if mass number and atomic number is given Uh, mass number minus atomic number will get number of neutrons so if we take this one deuterium tritium uh, and protium there is only difference in the one uh, one electron this isotopes differ from one another in respect to the presence of neutrons ordinary hydrogen protium has no neutrons but deuterium having one neutron and tritium having two neutrons and deuterium also known as heavy hydrogen of this isotopes only tritium is radioactive and emits low energy of beta particles so having the uh, radioactive energy since the isotopes have the same electronic configuration they have almost the same chemical properties the only difference is their rates of reactions mainly due to their different enthalpy and bond dissociation Uh, that is um, they having the same electronic configuration so um, they have almost same chemical properties but uh, the physical properties are different such as rate of reaction 
enthalpy of bond dissociation etc and dihydrogen dihydrogen is h2 uh, dihydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe and uh, it is a principal element in the solar atmosphere uh, the giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn consist mostly dihydrogen and it is very light in nature and is much less abundant in the earth atmosphere combined form besides in water it occurs in plant animal tissues and carbohydrates proteins hydrates including hydrocarbons and mainly other compounds so these all are about dihydrogen and the preparation properties uh, uses all are deleted portion this preparation and all in deleted portion so no need to study this and can we produce atomic hydrogen yes that all are in deleted portion and we see hydrates hydrates are the uh, substance uh, which the hydrogen under certain reaction condition combines with almost all elements except noble gas. Binary compounds is known as hydrates. They are further classified into ionic or saline or salt like hydrates, covalent or molecular hydrates, metallic or non stoichiometric hydrates. We will see uh, the hydrates one by one in next class. Um, and we'll see the properties of hydrates and how it will prepare and all in next class.